The Kia EV6 is by far one of the most interesting electric vehicles I've driven so far. That's not a Tesla. Looking at it from an exterior point of view, there's a lot of interesting key designs that just makes this vehicle look super futuristic, especially when you follow the tail light trim piece, the, I guess you'll call it like the karate shop front and lower part of the, the front fascia. And I do like the fact when you approach the vehicle, the door handles just automatically pop up welcoming you as you approach the vehicle and makes a great way to tell if the vehicle is unlocked or locked. And then inside, it also continues the same futuristic vibe as the centerpiece just floats, the headrest just magically floats as well. And the rear back passenger seats, there's a lot of space here, a lot more space due to the fact that the wheelbase is actually spread out a bit more thanks to this battery pack design. Kia was able to accomplish this. So if you have tall passengers, there's plenty of space for them. But after messing around with this vehicle, daily driving it, I'm not just gonna simply review this vehicle. I'm gonna go ahead and show you some amazing features and some cool tips and tricks that I discovered after daily driving the new Kia EV6. Let's go ahead and get started. First of all, let's talk about the key fob. This is the key fob that you use to obviously get access, have access to the vehicle. But note, there's additional buttons over here because you're actually are able to remote start this car. By simply long pressing, this will remote start the vehicle. But in addition to that, notice these up and down arrows. This allows you to actually use, I guess you'll call summon mode, but Kia is not calling it summon mode, but this allows you to move the vehicle forward or back. So if you park incorrectly, you wanna move your car forward closer to the curb, you could easily do so. But this is also extremely useful, especially when another vehicle parked next to you really close, you can actually use this ability to move the car back, making it easier so you and your passengers can easily get in. Now, other cool things about this vehicle can be located on the outside. The charge port. This is the charge port. Literally looks like it's integrated with the tail lights. You simply just push on it and it will automatically open up. There's also a button inside, inside the vehicle that you can press that will also automatically open it up as well. And to close, you can either just wait for it to close automatically, push this little button here that will also close it, or you can just push it manually and it will automatically self-close this way as well. But back here, you will notice that there actually is a battery life indicator right here that will give you a brief idea what's the vehicle battery life percentage. Now, the reason why this is also on the outside is because this actually has an amazing ability that Kia is calling it vehicle to load, which means you can actually use the provided Kia adapter and this will actually give you a household outlet. Now this isn't powerful enough to like fuel an entire household in case you experience a blackout, but it can provide enough power to easily power up like a campsite if you're outdoors camping. This is pretty amazing. Now underneath the hood, there is a small frunk you do have access to. The way it opens up, it's just like a vehicle, standard vehicle hood. You pull this little lever, it's not a button or anything like that. You pop open the hood. Now it may look like there's a lot of space back here, but underneath this cover, and Kia will actually give you a little bit of cargo space here. Not sure what you could fit in here. I would recommend just putting like a first aid kit or something like that in the front, but you do have a little bit of a front in the Kia EV6. Maybe you could put some Chipotle burritos in there if you like. Now inside the car, you will find a lot of quirky things, but if you look down here, you have USB ports everywhere. You have a total of four different outlets right here. You got the 12 volt, USB-C, USB-A, and yeah, more USBs. And on the side here, you actually have pen holders for the driver and passenger side. And then in the back, rear passengers have access to two USB ports right here on the side of the seats. And then down center is another household outlet that can be used to charge like a laptop or possibly power a toaster if you like. Now, unfortunately there's no AC controls for your rear passengers here, but there is air vents right here on the side. Now, another quirky thing about this vehicle is to have access between the HVAC control, AC, you have to press the little down arrow right here. And if you wanna have stereo control, you simply tap right here and notice it'll actually change the button layouts to the different commands that each button can do. So the volume rocker is this one now, but if you switch back to the AC control, now this is your climate temperature. A bit confusing, but this is how you switch between those two. So you don't have to rely on the steering wheel if you like to change track and such, you just tap here, 
to quickly change different media sources and etc. Now continuing on with the infotainment system, this is a cool innovation I wish more EV vehicles have, but this one, if you keep swiping, you can find this screen and this screen will actually will give you an idea how much range you'll achieve and if you turn off like the AC as a final example, this is how much range you could add. I really do like the fact that this vehicle actually will give you that feedback. Now when operating a vehicle, this does have full 360 camera support with this cool AR animation. The cameras will automatically enable as soon as it approaches, as soon as the vehicle sensors notice that you're approaching some type of object, you do have a button that will act quickly enable the cameras. So long as you're below five miles per hour, it will quickly toggle it. And yes, you can view the vehicle from other angles just by simply moving your finger across the screen. This is really impressive to see that Kia has this innovation. You typically will find this cool, amazing technology available on like high-end vehicles like Bentleys and BMWs. I'm glad that Kia now is adapting this on their vehicle without that premium price tag. Now this vehicle does have quiet mode, which basically with this mode enabled, it will just silent and mute all the speakers in the back so your rear passengers can easily fall asleep while continuing your speaker active. Yes, other vehicles do have a very similar thing, but it requires you to go into the EQ settings and just a bunch of stuff. This one is just a simple tap to just mute all the other speakers aside from the driver speaker. Now the steering wheel. The steering wheel is extremely interesting, but down here where it says drive mode, this is, this is what you'll press if you want to quickly switch between the three different modes that it has. So you have Eco, which will show you the ETA range right there. And then you have Normal, which also will continue to adapt the ETA range. And then you have Sport, which will give your vehicle instrument cluster this sporty theme. Notice that the steering wheel does have what looks like paddle shifters, but since this is a single speed transmission, it's not for the transmission. This is just controls for your brake region. So if you like a more aggressive one to give you the one pedal driving, you just simply just continue adding it until you're at the max set level. And then if it's too much for you, you could lower it or just have it turned off completely. Now the back cargo area does have an automatic tailgate, which you could open up and close right here if you want to. But, down, but on the sides right here, these little latches, they're not labeled, but when you pull them, they'll actually fold down your seats. So that's how you fold down the seats. And when everything's folded down, you have a lot of cargo space and you also get additional hidden compartments down here. Now, you can customize this vehicle to every driver's personal profile on this little section right here. So you have the freedom to create custom profiles for everybody. And you do have access to other things you can adjust and change like similar to like smartphones nowadays you do have access to a light and dark mode or you could create a custom schedule where it'll transition so during the daylight it's in light mode and at night it'll con automatically switch to night mode the screensavers you can actually customize the screensavers in the settings right here you have the ability to switch between a digital clock or an analog clock if you're looking for something more luxury this vehicle does have hotspot support so if you need that wi-fi on the go this is where you'll actually go in and enable that and yes it does have a heads-up display which also is fully customizable and does actually support ar for when you're using it for navigation now whenever you get in the vehicle there is a welcome note if it's too much, you can actually disable this if you don't like the vehicle constantly welcoming you as you get in. And you also have ambient lighting right here as you see. You have access to high beam control, high beam assist. If you want to leave it automatic, you can adjust it right here as well as control the duration. If you want your headlights to stay on within 15 seconds as soon as you exit the vehicle, you can fully customize it right here if you'd like to enable or disable that. In addition to that, this vehicle infotainment screen also supports blue filter. So if you wanna enable blue filter to get an easy night's sleep once you, get, once you arrive home from a late night drive, you can easily enable it here as well. So yeah, it definitely does have a lot of interesting features that typically what you expect to find in a smartphone, but this vehicle has it. Uh, another thing I almost failed to forget to mention is uh, when you want to park the vehicle in park, you could just turn it off automatically and it'll automatically put that gauge into park. I'm not sure if that's recommended, but you could skip having to press park and the power button. But I still personally would pre press the park button. And yes, it does engage the brakes. Now, when it comes to driving this vehicle, the handling, the performance is actually really impressive. For city driving, this thing is quick, so it will definitely accelerate off a line. So it handles extremely well in the corners, thanks to that battery pack, keeps the vehicle center and well balanced when it comes to making quick turns. And when it comes to its safety features, there's three ways to monitor your blind spot. 
One of which is on the center display will actually mark red telling you there's something in an object in your blind spot, but then your mirrors will also indicate there's a vehicle in your blind spot. And when you toggle your turn signal, it'll actually show you the preview right here if it's clear or not. Now this Kia does have the advanced highway drive assist one, which is somewhat like an advanced cruise control. When you enable this by tapping on the lane keep assist and then enabling the adaptive cruise control, when you combo these together, the steering wheel will actually make sure the vehicle is always in the center of the lane and will continue a nice steady speed that you selected or adapt to the vehicle that's in front. Now, unlike Tesla or other like, or other similar features like autopilot, this one you can actually leave your hands off the wheel for a long duration, as it does take quite a while for the vehicle to actually notify you to place your hand back on the wheel. So that was really shocking that Kia doesn't have like a 30 second timer, as from my experience, it seems like I could go miles without having my hand on the wheel. I'm not sure if I should be concerned, but always be aware of your surrounding and be prepared to always take control of the steering wheel when you have this mode enabled. But to the most part, it does a fantastic job on keeping a nice gap in front of the vehicle in front and making sure that the vehicle stays in the center of the lane. Oh no, there you guys have it. Those are some amazing features that the brand new Kia EV6 has to offer. So now if you're in a market for one or you're test driving, you are now a pro in terms of all the cool bells and whistles that this EV6 has to offer. So if you found this video informative and useful in your car shopping experience, or you learned something new if you already own an EV6, I'd greatly appreciate if you actually leave this video a like as those help me out a lot and get subscribed, especially if you enjoy a lot of tech videos just like this. I basically cover everything from tech products to vehicles. I like to cover like the technology aspect of things. So if you're into that type of stuff, like hidden features, make sure you are subscribed. If you'd like to watch more, maybe check out this video over here, as that is another recent EV vehicle that I reviewed. And then that video over there, that is a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. Let me know in the comment section if YouTube was right and you really did like that suggested video that their algorithm suggested for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.